Yeah, I'm guessing it's probably like no different than like a low budget film or an indie film project. Like I really doubt you'd be able to bake a facility like that on a stage. You know, like it would, it would be really hard to kind of create something like this. We'd have to piece it together with so many different locations. Like, let's see, come on. Come on. Okay, I can deal with this. It's a little bit far, but that's not too bad. Now somebody needs to remind me not to click on that fucking stay button. We're going for the 100%. Might take a little while. You want to go make some more popcorn? It's better than having to replay the whole game because you can't skip these scenes, and it took like two hours. Kind of like there's not a whole lot of speed running for this game. Like the speed running potential of this game's future is not really much there. When you reach level five, find the ventilation hatch. Look for the hot pipe, but make sure it's the one with the warning label, John. Then open the top, be careful. And you run back to me as fast as you can. As fast as you can, John. Promise me. I promise. You've got this. So. You understand. You'll remember. Good boy. So my understanding so far is we'll just call her the mother. Essentially the mother is doesn't want to spend 20 to 30 years in the bunker and wanted to speed up the process at which they evacuate, or something along those lines. And did things like this to sabotage people, making it look as if they've been... ...been radiated. So ultimately, she's like the bad guy in this story. Yeah, that's that. That is true. She found out that there was only 14 months' supply of food. It's all right. We can we can use it. We can take 14 months and stretch it out to 20 to 30 years. No problem. It's got to be really. Uh, Rationing. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it makes sense. Kill everyone off, and you probably do have 20 or 30 years of food. For one. Or maybe two. Like, she didn't look old when she died, so she probably was. Actually, I don't know. Look how happy she is. <laughs> Sabotage! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
This is when I kicked the shit out of everybody in this bunker. I kicked all their asses. Bunch of noobs. She's the one that was causing the dying of mysterious illnesses. Well, you'll see what I mean. They're gonna show it again when she's mixing the ingredients. I fucking told you the first time. It's this one, you son of a bitch. More like she's making the sun do all the work. It's like I only made the weapon, but... I made my son pull the trigger. <laughs> That's a legal loop lore. That means I need to be prepared as well for that quick time event. We can do it. I think I got it in me. We got it in me to do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Be ready. One's in this area somewhere. Yeah, the bunker wasn't doing well to begin with. Like, the sealants and shit were not good. Oh, right there. Go! To the ending. Right after these sponsored quick time events. Brought to you by Downey and Come on, John. I don't, I'm not brought to you by Downey. Don't buy Downey products. Unless they decide to pay me. Then you can buy them. Thank you. Buy this Downey toilet paper. Or whatever the fuck they make. I don't know what they make. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, oh. Oh. Whoa. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's actually harder than it looks, believe it or not. It gets really pain in my ass. Because of the shape of the mouse, it's not designed to be able to reposition my finger either on it. We can do it. Where is it? It's around here somewhere. Right here. I moved the mouse. smash it as fucking hard as I can. I was moving the mouse in the process. Come on. Oh, I'm sick of this scene. You can't, you can't skip the cutscenes, and it makes sense because the entire game is a cutscene. The whole game is a cutscene, essentially. An interactive cutscene. Uh, you're not 
not doing a good job escaping. Like you managed to get a, something that doesn't exist to grab your foot. Because I couldn't press my mouse button hard enough, fast enough. You have to do it all over again. Okay. Next one's gonna be around here somewhere. Bunker Simulator 2016. Now with more quick time events than ever. No. It's not real. Like, what if I. It's just like right around here somewhere. What if I just start mashing the key? Yes. Make it look easy. I got the cars. This I'm going to bed. So at this point, I'm not touching shit. Get this mouse away. Wait, was there a button on the right side? I only saw one button, and that was on the left. But yeah, back to what we were saying earlier. Like that HDR blooming effect. It's very fake. Be ready anyways. You can't leave me, John. Stay with me. You promised. I can leave you all the fuck I want, bitch. Because I'm not pressing button this time. And I've taken the spoil supplies off and spit it out. 14 months. How fast is They have a little over a year's supply of food. That top left. You never know from Mrs. Harrison. Hmm. I hear you can see she's mixing the solution and actually injecting it into some of the patients. She's basically sabotaging. How long before it's safe to go back up? 20, 30 years. Do we have enough food? We may have to ration. Good boy. Be really careful with this black plague. It's very expensive. Mom? Don't worry. I'm just gonna murder all these people for you. You'll live forever. Don't break your arm. I don't want to eat any more beans, Mom. I'm sick of it. No, you don't. No more beans. I just can't take one more day. Eating those fucking beans. Careful. Aha. See ya, bitch. Oh, all this fucking extra. Oh. Like, oh, it's locked. See ya, bitch. <laughs> Breathe. I love breathing. I do it all the time. <sighs> what? What? 
It's the same fucking ending, essentially. Figured they were gonna give us some more information or something, like, is it okay outside? Was the whole goddamn thing some sort of, you know, human experiment or some other scenario? Was it... Wow, that really didn't tie it up for shit. What the fuck? Because ultimately it's like, well... The place is sealing, seals and shit were not doing well enough and radiation was leaking in. Whole facilities flooded with the radiation. So he ran outside the nuclear bomb ship, bomb bunker. But that's where the radiation would have been leaking from. That would have been the source. So... All he did was just change the place of his death, I would presume. I don't know if it's fine outside. It'd be hard to... They don't tell you. <laughs> so yeah, I want to make some Cloverfield, that 10 Cloverfield Lane movie references right now comparisons, but I'm going to avoid it because I don't want to do risk, you know, spoilers for anyone that hasn't seen the movie because I like that movie. It was actually cool. Huh. Well, that was still a cool experience. It kind of fucked up the ending, I think. Or they're trying to be really deep. Like, we're gonna leave it open up to you to decide what happened. Uh... Like, if I wanted to decide what happened, I could have done that sitting on the toilet. Like, I wanted to see what would actually have happened. Like, you tell me. This is why I'm playing your game. This is why I'm watching your movie. Why I'm reading your book. Finish what you goddamn started. Don't leave it up to me to make shit up because that causes problems. I could have just made up the whole goddamn story in the first place. Wouldn't have had to play your game. But still, it was good. I liked it. That was that was good. Very good idea. And pretty damn well executed. 